<laughs> I told you I move a lot. <laughs> Alberti Popaz, 42. So do I start my makeup? Yeah, almost forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> What's your current fitness routine? I try and work on it almost every single day. Every day I try and do some, some sort of calisthenic or you know cardio exercise. I do a little bit of weightlifting and I do rowing. It's just like this full body, one hour workout. And I like it because it burns a lot of calories. Is there like loud energetic music playing all the time? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> a lot of the time. So have you always worked out or is this something you started doing recently because you are in your 40s? Um, you know, I started working out probably when I was like 21 or 22. I never really worked out before then. I played sports when I was a kid, but I wasn't very good at it and I was always chubby. And then I got into college and I got really, really skinny and tall. And then when I graduated college, I remember my brother was like, dude, you need to work out. So um, he took me to the gym and we started lifting weights. And, you know, I think fitness was always just part of my life. I mean, I was singing at the time. I think, I don't know if you know this, Jenna, right? When I was in my um, late teens and early 20s, I used to sing. I used to sing Albanian pop music. My brother and I would sing at like Sweet Sixteens and birthdays and showers. And then it turned into um, weddings, and then that turned into albums and music videos and flying to Europe. And it was like all around that time that my, you know, I was, I was really focused on, you know, having that pop star, you know, persona and like, you know, getting, getting really good in physical, in physical shape, um, like for physical appearance. But now I don't do it for that. Now I do it because I want to be healthy and I want to be strong and I want to be able to eat the things that I like to eat, but at the same time fit in the clothes that I have in my closet. Yeah, I work out so I don't like blow my knee out when I get up off the couch. Well, yeah, yeah. And it's funny, right? Because like you wake up and you, you sit there and you're like, oh, I didn't know that was there before or that pain was there before, but I think that through like, you know, regular workout and exercise, you know, those aches and pains, either either you become numb to them <laughs> or you end up, you know, making yourself stronger. Look at that. This makes you look younger right away. I like that. Uh, I'm also into really eating very healthy. I was always kind of able to eat whatever I wanted. And that kind of continued until I hit 30. And in my 30s, I noticed it was a little bit harder to eat that stuff and stay the same waistline, like you keep my same like waistline and you fit in my clothes. And um, sorry, sometimes I'm a little rough with right around my nose. It's like, get in there, <laughs> get in there, color. Like I realized like, oh, I can't do this anymore, right? I can't have ice cream at nine o'clock at night and uh, still fit into my clothes. Yeah. So I started, you know, really kind of focusing on like diet and exercise. I I'll tell you this, with as far as like eating goes, um, I have a shake every single morning, whether it's like fruit smoothie or, you know, of course, always protein powder. Uh, I put in spinach or kale. If I am gonna have like a burger, right? If I am gonna have a sandwich, if I'm gonna have anything kind of big and heavy, um, that's usually my lunch meal. And then my dinner meal is always um, light. And I always eat before six. Somebody 
once said to me, and I thought it made a lot of sense. It was, um, you spend one hour in the gym and you have 23 hours all to yourself. Which one do you think is gonna be more impactful in your life, right? <laughs> right. And so, for me, I always, what is that? Why is that not coming out of there? Or what you don't yeah. eat, like what you don't keep in the house. like. Oh, well, yeah. Definitely not keeping things in the house. Yeah. Because if it's in the house, I'm more than likely going to eat it. Oh, Right. Same. I know. Nobody likes a bag of chips more than I do. <laughs> can finish that thing. <laughs> Down! <laughs> It's like my dad's about to turn 70 and I know another couple that are well into their 80s. And I just, I think about it in those terms as well. Like anything you do now, as far as fitness or eating, is a little bit of insurance for later in life. Well, yeah, because, you know, it's like keeping, keeping all the muscles and the joints like lubricated, right? And moving right. and um, active and the blood kind of flowing to those areas. You know, I think what, the, like the old, old adage or the old term of if you don't use it, you lose it. So right now, I, I love a class more than anything, right? So I've done spinning. When I first started working out and I was living in New York City, I was doing like a lot of kickboxing and a lot of like, you know, like full on boxing classes and I loved that and it was super high intensity. Hot yoga, like Bikram yoga. Oh yeah. That's great, but that's like really intense. I've tried regular yoga. I always like hurt myself, right? I'm the only person that will hurt themselves in yoga. And that's because I think I'm like super competitive that way. You know, if I can do better than I did last time, and, and now I love this thing that I'm doing right now, right? This treadmill rower and like weights. It's, it's kind of working for me. And I feel, like, I feel like it's right for this time, right? Like the, this time in my life where I want to have like muscle structure and definition, but I don't want to be like really bulky. I know that sounds weird, right? But like, I just don't, I don't want to be like super bulky. No, it makes sense. What does the rowing machine do for you? I've never used one. Um, a rowing machine is like the number one way for you to burn calories, mm. actually. Like you use almost every single muscle in your body. You use your legs, you use your glutes, you use your core, you use your arms, you use your back, you use literally every single major muscle group. And so I like it for that reason. That I say to myself, okay, well, you know, You've done, you've done something really, really good for yourself today. Now I can go eat pizza. And then you go and you eat nachos. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, mm, why not? <laughs> I have to be honest, I can do all my makeup in five minutes and my brows can take 10, <laughs> right? Because I'm so obsessed with them. I mean, your brows are fantastic. Thank you, you're so sweet. They really are. I remember my very first photo shoot ever. I was doing my first album and, um, and this very famous photographer happens to be Albanian. And so I went to him and I said, will you take the photos for me? And he said, yeah, I will. This is like a guy who's shooting like major celebs, cover of magazines, all this stuff, right? And you know, he says, don't worry about makeup. I'll have a makeup artist do your, your makeup for you. And I remember sitting down in her chair she said, you barely need any makeup. She goes, and I love your brows. And I was so self-conscious about them. I was like, they're so big. She goes, no, don't ever change them. I did get them laminated. What's that? Um, it's basically like a perm. And when you do your brow laminating, it helps them just kind of lay flat and in any direction that you want. So like, for instance, like I can, I can bring those down like this, and they'll actually stay down, right? You see that? Yeah. And then I can, I can put them straight up, and they'll actually stay straight up. Now, I don't leave them <laughs> like that, right, obviously. Um, I like to still do them to the side. What is the process for laminating? The process is simple. Like, you, you clean them, you put on this cream, you put this, like, 
plastic wrap over the eyes and squish them down for, I don't know, like 10 minutes or something, yeah. five to 10 minutes. And then when you, when you remove the cream, the hair has been, you know, set. Right? They're looking okay. This, by the way, is a secret weapon. When I go on air, I like to do just a little bit of fill-in. And you know, originally I learned this from Joan Rivers, right? Mm -hmm. She had that product here at QVC, Good Hair Day. Yeah. Um, all right, so it's kind of... There's you know. also the aspect of fitness as a way of challenging yourself. You know, I think when you start to get into your mid to upper 40s, it's very easy to just be comfortable and remain comfortable. Well, I think that I think that when you get older, it's easy to find yourself in a routine or a rut. Yes. Right? Whether that's food, family, relationship, you lose yourself in your your partner, right? Your spouse. You lose yourself sometimes in your job. You lose yourself sometimes in your kids and you're like, oh, I want you to succeed and you're doing all this stuff for them. And you forget about you. And it really just boils down to being honest with yourself and saying, okay, well, you know, I did this to me or I allowed myself to get lost for a second. That's okay. Mm -hmm. It happens to everybody. But you can change it, right? After I did my very first music video, I had like, like very little money left in the bank, right? Like it was like a self-investment. I put a lot of money out. And I remember being in the kitchen with my mom and I said, I said, oh gosh, I said, I feel like, I feel like a little bit of a loser. She said, what? I said, I feel like a loser. I feel like I spent all this money on this thing and I don't know why I did it. And she goes, first of all, she said, you invested in yourself and that's a good thing. And she goes, second of all, she said, don't worry about the money. She goes, just pretend like today's the first day. And you start from today, right? So it's so simple. Just, okay, today's my first day. Why don't I just start from now? And it's like, it's really simple. I can hear you laughing kind of, right? It's like, it's so simple, yet profound and genius. And it's one of the best pieces of advice I've ever received from, from anybody, um, but especially from my mom. It, it really is great. And I, I always say, like, man, life is like 90% habit. So if you start today, you change it. Yes. I think you're right. I think that, I think that a lot of people, sorry, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. But, but I do this because I want to have a really bright, white, beautiful smile. And it works. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So yes, habit, just like talking with your mouth hole. Uh, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people do fall into like their, their routines or their habits, yeah. And bad habits are hard to break and good habits are hard to come by. But if you stay focused, um, I think it's, I think, you know, it's worth it. And I think that the, one of the best ways to stay focused is, you know, I don't know, checking in with yourself, and people do that different ways. Some people do that like with a diary. Some people do that um, with like meditation. Some people do that with, I don't know, going to church, right? Or going to a place of worship mm -hmm. or listening to a good podcast that kicks you in the butt. Have you ever tried this? No, what is it? So this is this brand called Sparific. Okay, show and me again. It's, yeah. it's a nail file but it's made out of glass. What? But it's amazing because not only is it great for filing your nails like this, but this is the only thing I use and it shines your nails too. So watch this. Isn't that shiny? It really um, is. Yeah, so I did them last night, but and I do them like once a week, but it's fabulous, right? So like you don't need yeah. nail polish, you don't need anything. 
perfect formula. Oh, yeah, I like Who that. Who would use anything else? I do like it. I love it. Well, this is an oil. And I started being like crazy about my nails when I started working here. For the collector out there, if you know somebody that loves Hello Kitty, this is so perfect for them because it even comes with the Hello Kitty head. <laughs> How adorable is that? And I think that like, you know, for a guy, my gosh, that's like the number one thing that you should be doing as you get older is continuing to like keep up with cutting your hair and keeping your brows trimmed and the nose hairs and the ear hairs, like all that stuff. No, it's true, right? Like that's, that's the thing, like the body hair, all that stuff. Um, you gotta keep it tamed. Just the final touch, right? And you can see how much I, I love this. Right? This is this lip balm with these little gold flecks in it. Can you see that? You don't end up with gold flecks or just gives a nice shine. It's funny, every once in a while, people will say to me like, do you use a lip color? I don't, um, but I definitely always have a lip balm on. I have three questions that I ask everyone. Are you ready? Yes. What was the last makeup tutorial you watched? I don't really watch makeup tutorials, um, to be honest, That's right? Fine. Like when I think about like, I present a lot of makeup at QVC, I watch our guests, but I mean, if, if I actually did watch a tutorial, it was probably Mally, because she's always doing her makeup on Instagram. Tell me about a regrettable hair or makeup look that you once rocked. Ooh. Regrettable hair, definitely. Um, so I had really long, kind of curly hair, and I think at one point I just let it get a little too wild, and a little too big, and a little too poofy, and a little too dry without like adding in, you know, kind of product and stuff like that. And that was in my, I would say like I was like 20 or 21. You know, when you're kooky and weird. What beauty tip did you learn from a woman in your life? the way my mom applies her blush. I can't do it because like, she goes hard on her blush, right? I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that for myself, but like, she'd be like, <clears throat> and she'd go, she'd flip her hair over, and she'd go, <laughs> and she'd flip her hair on the other side, and she'd go, <laughs> and I always thought to myself like, wow, you look so beautiful. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> It's blush, it's blush, and everybody needs it at some point. <laughs> and actually, you know, now that I think about it, it's really funny, when I was a kid, I remember my mom buying the Jane Fonda workout tape. Yeah. You know, the one that like everybody <laughs> on the planet had? And um, we, would, we would literally work out with her. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> fitness is something that's always been like kind of part of my life and my family. Um, I mean, and the 80s fitness tape in the living room is so iconic. I know, I love it. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> That's always fun. Thank you.